The High Court is temporarily barred uh, the City Council from demolishing stores for illegal vendors or evicting them from uh, their workstations. Uh, but uh, we have seen uh, the ZRP officers and uh, as well as uh, Arrest City Council officers in running battles uh, with vendors in the CBD. Uh, can you explain uh, why is that happening and maybe the intentions you have to deal with uh, these vendors since most of them uh, rely on vending uh, for their livelihood? Yeah, um, here we are implementing a public good. We are doing a public good. There is a, an outbreak of typhoid in the city and we, and, we, and we are the administrative arm of government and we have to do what we know best to make sure that the disease does not spread. And we are also dealing with illegal activities. There is no way illegal activities can ever be regularized. So we are just dealing away with illegal activities and uh, yes, tomorrow we will attend the court ruling or the court hearing because I think tomorrow is uh, the day where presentations are going, the different parties are going to make their presentations to court. Yeah, but uh, we are of the belief we are doing a public good.
and I think we should be applauded for that. Okay. Uh, so you are trying to say that uh, these running battles uh, between the police and uh, and the the vendors uh, will continue uh, going on. No, we're not talking of running battles. We we talking of establishing order in the city. We talking of controlling a disease. That's what we're simply doing. Yeah. Look at the rains right now. It's raining, and people are selling their wares on the on the ground. It's not healthy. Yeah. All right. Uh, there are some vendors who are complaining also that uh, when their uh, goods uh, or their wares are confiscated by their city council. It is always difficult for them to get them back, and mostly uh, Which fruits were they referring to? Uh, fruits and uh, vegetables. Once we confiscate fruits and vegetables and any perishable goods, we destroy them because once you retain them, you are encouraging the illicit trade. You are also there is also the possibility of cross contamination of diseases. So we don't want any any spread of diseases. Once we take your fruits and vegetables, they are destroyed, and vendors are free to come and witness the process of destruction. That's, that's a common uh, activity the world over. You don't, you don't confiscate food items and retain them. That doesn't make sense.